In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that nagging, persistent lower back pain for good. Back pain is complicated, so we're gonna break this down into three separate parts. I'm gonna start by teaching you a really easy, gentle pain relief routine that should break up your pain pretty instantly and get you moving a little bit better. After we finish up that routine, we're gonna jump into some strengthening exercises. Over the long term, exercises like this can really help to increase the strength, resilience, and tolerance of your back. And after that, we're gonna jump into a more long-term game plan to make sure that you can actually get rid of this pain for good and set yourself up to not have to deal with this in the future. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nate Fear. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and the founder of Back Unbroken. I was able to become pain-free after years of lower back pain, and my mission now is to help you do the same. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, let's start by getting you some pain relief and getting you moving a little bit better. So the only thing you'll need for this is the ground and some kind of ball. You can use a massage ball like I have here you can use a tennis ball, a golf ball, a baseball, doesn't really matter. I'll leave an Amazon link down below if you want to check out the one that I use. Once you have your ball, it's a pretty simple setup. So you want to lay down flat on your back with your legs up at about a 45 degree angle. Now from here, what you want to do is find that spot in your lower back that's super tender. It's okay if it's a few different spots or if it moves around a little bit, but you want to find the spot that you feel the most tension or discomfort in. And you just want to gently place the ball right up against that spot. Now, one important thing is that you don't want the ball to be directly underneath your spine. That's not gonna be very comfortable. You want it to be on the soft tissues and the muscles either on the left or the right side of it. So again, you just wanna prop the ball right up against that spot that's tender or sore or feels tight. So you're not necessarily laying directly on top of the ball, but you're sort of wedging it in between your back and the ground. Once you have the ball placed in the right spot, you're gonna put your arms out for stabilization and you're just gonna slowly rock your legs left and right. So as you rock your legs away from the side of the ball, there's gonna be less pressure on that spot. And as you rock them back towards this side, you're gonna increase the pressure. So your only job is to just gently rock back and forth, slowly pushing into that sensation or that tightness and then backing off. If you're able to tolerate it and it feels good, you can hang out on that side for a while, or you can just gently rock back and forth, pushing into it and then pulling away. Now, one other important thing to pay attention to while you're doing this is your breathing. Your nervous system has a lot to do with how your body is perceiving pain and contributing to things like muscle guarding, spasms, and tightness. So while you're doing this and while you're gently rocking back and forth on the ball, what I want you to do is breathe in really slowly in through your nose and then out through your mouth. An easy cue for this is four seconds in, four seconds out. So breathe in deeply, one, two, three, four, and then slowly exhale, one, two, three, four. Doing this in addition to rocking back and forth on those sensitive spots can give you a pretty dramatic pain reduction. Once you've completed a few minutes of that and you've loosened things up a little bit, let's sit on up and go through a really easy, gentle movement. Okay, so the goal here is now that hopefully your pain is down and you're moving a little bit less stiffly, now we can go through a really easy, gentle exercise to sort of reintroduce some movement into the low back. So what you're gonna do is either sit on the ground or sit in a chair. And from here, we're gonna do a few sets of spine circles. So your back has four fundamental movements that it can go through. Flexion, where it bends forward, extension, where it bends backward, side bending, and rotation. And spine circles are awesome because they sort of combine all these movements into one. So here's how you do them. Start by sitting up tall and crossing your arms. From here, you're gonna slowly rotate clockwise as you bend forward, sideways, and backward. So as you come around to the front, you're gonna slowly bend forward and round your back. As you come to each side, you're gonna bend laterally as you continue to rotate. And as you come around back, you're gonna slowly arch your back into extension. And you can repeat this movement as much as you want. Let's call it eight reps. After you finish up those eight reps, pause for a minute, take a couple deep breaths, and then do eight reps counterclockwise. Now, don't treat this like a stretch where you're trying to go to your absolute limits or really push your range of motion. The idea with these spine circles is just to explore some comfortable, gentle range of motion throughout those four major movements. Again, you wanna focus on your breathing and using that four second in, four second out rule. Once you've gone through one or two rounds of 
of this, stand up and see if you feel the difference. If all goes well, you should have some good pain relief and feel a little bit more comfortable moving around. Now again, as much as I wish this alone was an instant and forever fix, it probably won't be. So let's move into the next phase of this, which is going to be strengthening. So unfortunately, a lot of people are taught to fear their low back and avoid using it rather than actually building up its strength and capacity and tolerance. So what I'm going to do here is actually teach you the process of building up your back so that it can handle everyday life stress, exercise, and movements that you go through. So what you want to do is basically get yourself into a cobra pose like you would see in yoga. And you want to start by laying flat with your chest in contact with the ground. Now what you want to do from here is push up on your elbows and squeeze your lower back as you rise up into extension. So the great thing about this is that you can use as much or as little assistance as you need from your arms. And once you get to the top of the movement, you wanna slowly lower yourself down, feeling the squeeze in your lower back. Again, what we're looking for is that contraction and blood flow into the lower back. So again, push up with as much assistance as you need and slowly lower down as you feel your lower back relaxing. You can do this for about eight slow reps at a time. So this is a really simple exercise that you can start adding into your routine as a more long-term strengthening play. Now you wanna treat this just like any other muscle group, giving your back and body plenty of time to recover in between sessions. So it's probably not something you wanna do every single day and you don't wanna just do a ton of reps or a ton of sets of it. I would keep it really low with a couple sets every other day and see how things feel. Now that exercise is a great place to start, but eventually it's gonna feel too easy and you're going to get diminishing returns from it. And that's where something like a Roman chair or a back extension machine comes in really handy. With this piece of equipment, you can specifically target and isolate the muscles and structures of the low back. If you don't have access to one of these or you want one for your home, I'll leave an Amazon link down below to this exact one. It's less than a hundred bucks and I promise this thing can be so game changing for a lot of people with back pain. I'll have a whole video on this in the future, but for now, let's talk about the basics of how to build this up with our extension progression. So just like we did on the ground, the best way to start using this machine is with a little bit of assistance. By the way, most of these Roman chairs have adjustable heights and there's a few different ways to use this thing. But for what we're doing here, where we're trying to isolate back extension more than a hip hinge, you want the pad to be up a little bit higher, almost right at your belly button. So what you wanna do is start by holding onto the handles, and only going through as much range of motion as you feel comfortable with. So you wanna work your way up and down through flexion and extension using as much assistance as you need. You can also just start with an isometric where you just hold yourself out and squeeze your lower back muscles. You're gonna get a ton of blood flow through your lower back and probably feel some muscles that you haven't felt in a while. Once you feel comfortable with isometrics and assisted range, you wanna take your hands away and slowly work through range of motion. Now, over the course of weeks or months, you wanna build up your range of motion and build up your strength. And from there, if you want to, you can add weight to these things and really get a jacked lower back. Now, keep in mind that these progressions may take months to build up to, so don't try to rush into this. Again, this thing is super targeted and super isolated, which is great, but you don't wanna jump in too quickly. So work on the floor exercise first until you build up strength and confidence in your back, and then eventually you can jump on something like this. Okay, so we've gone over a pain relief routine, a strengthening progression, and now we really have to talk about a long-term game plan. Like I've said, back pain is complicated, and in most cases, it's not going to be fixed by some magical stretch or exercise, including the ones we just went over. Believe it or not, back pain is heavily influenced by things like sleep, stress, your mood, your emotions, your psychological state, your relationships, your exercise routine, your life in general. In almost all cases, your back pain can't be boiled down to one specific muscle, or disc or posture issue. And ultimately, this is actually a really good thing because despite how confusing and frustrating back pain can be, having an episode of back pain in most cases doesn't usually mean that you cause some kind of significant tissue damage or injury to the area. Of course, there are always exceptions and you should consult a licensed medical provider if you're worried, but I think it's helpful to know that most cases of back pain will go away on their own without any serious medical treatment. So part of the long-term game plan here is just recognizing that back pain is a part of life, but that doesn't mean that it has to be a life sentence to pain. So it's important to look at this stuff holistically, especially if the pain is nagging or persistent or has been going on for months or years. Long-term or chronic back pain that doesn't go away within the first couple of weeks or months 
plays by much different rules than short-term pain. You may get some relief from stretches, exercises, massage, acupuncture, that whole thing, but it's probably not scratching the surface or really giving you long-term results if you have long-term pain. So if you find yourself stuck in the cycle of long-term or chronic low back pain that just doesn't go away, just make sure you're paying attention to everything else that's going on in your life and contributing to physical and mental stress and not just throwing all your eggs in the exercise or stretch bucket. I won't take take up more of your time in this video going over all the details and the nuance of the neuroscience of chronic pain and why this stuff sticks around. But if you want to learn more about this and you need a long-term game plan for really breaking out of this cycle for good, I have a full free course that you can sign up for that goes over everything. It's totally free and I'll link it down below if you need more help with this stuff. Otherwise, feel free to check out some more content on the channel and I'll see you next video.